Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have not done an arcade video in a really long time. We're gonna do this one vlog style. I've been playing a ton of pinball lately, so it's been what's consuming most of my time, but believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, I have still been acquiring arcade games here and there. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my latest acquisition, which is something that um, had eluded me for a while. I had not been able to locate one of these for a long time, but I'm not gonna show you yet. I'm gonna go around the corner and then I'm gonna show you. The garage is kind of messy, so you gotta bear with me on this one. But some stuff has changed and some stuff has not. But um, you know, a lot of the staples are still here in the arcade. You got Sinistar over there, and Baby Pack, and The Grid, my Smash TV Multi, which might be going, which might be going soon. Um, we'll see. And then Food Fight, Robotron, Narc, still the same there. If you missed it, I did do a RoboCop pickup video at, at one point. There's RoboCop, Final Fight and Golden Axe are on this side. It's been kind of interesting because pinball has been consuming the majority of my time, but I was able to pick up a pretty cool arcade cabinet and I'm gonna show it to you right now. So yeah, this is the Paperboy. It, it's in really good shape. I had a couple problems and a couple issues. That's why I sent the board set out and it's all good now. And I did replace the power supply with a hat power supply. It is missing a utility panel, which I'll show you what that is in a second here. But let's take a look at it and see uh, what this thing is all about. So you can see the handlebars have been replaced. They look really, really good. I've been looking for this one for a really long time. These are not easy to come by. They're getting really expensive these days. I think I got a fair price for it though. It had a couple of problems and one of them was with the board set. It just wasn't quite working right. It had a couple of quirks. So I sent that out to Jeffrey. He can fix a board set like you wouldn't believe. And he went through this board set, made sure it was good to go, fixed a couple of the issues that I had, and now it's working amazingly well. The other person I have to thank is Travis Reynolds. So Travis Reynolds does a lot in the restoration scene. Now, what he did for me is he did a restoration of the handlebars. He sells these beautiful chromed out handlebars. They look really, really good. The only thing I had to do was add the graphic to the top of it and that was it. I didn't have to do anything else. It was plug and play. It worked amazingly well. Now the cabinet itself is a survivor cabinet. It's not a full restoration, but this thing is pretty minty. It looks really good. It does have the alternative side art on it. This is not the side art that a Paperboy would have came with, but to me, this makes it look better. It enhances it. You can go both ways with it. Some people don't enjoy or appreciate taking some liberties with the artistic side of original arcade cabinets. I think it looks amazing, so I don't really care because it's my cabinet and I do what I want. Anyways, the game itself, you know Paperboy, it's freaking amazing. It's an amazing game. It's also amazingly difficult. And it's also one of those games that really doesn't translate well to anything but the original arcade. You're not gonna wanna play this game with the joystick. You're just not, it's gonna be terrible. You're gonna have a horrible, horrible, horrible experience. And that's why I had to have a brand new pristine handlebars. And that's, that's what I was able to get from Travis. He really, really, really hooked that up. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a bit of gameplay. We're gonna see how well I can play this paper boy. Uh, and then, uh, then at that point, we'll just kind of go back inside and wrap up the video. Okay, let's see how well I can do. I've, I've, I'm not known for being the best Paperboy player, but I feel like I can do this. I can do this, right? I got this. I played plenty of this on the NES. I played it in the arcade. I got it. There's no way that I'm not gonna get it. Now, I tend to go a little slow at first. Okay, that's one successful customer. Uh-oh. Two? That's not bad. Now, you wanna mess up these fools that don't get papers from you. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Okay, see, right now I'm doing pretty good. See, I usually get on camera and I do terrible at games, but mm, that's one customer that's gonna be pissed. You know, if you don't know about this game, shit. You pull back to break and you pull forward, you push forward to go faster. It, it's, it's a fine balance. This game's like a fine wine. You gotta, um, you gotta really finesse this thing. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, now these, these streets can be a little tricky. Oh, <laughs> and you know, you can imagine these, these shit, you can imagine these cabinets probably got really beat up in the arcade and that's why the controllers are always kind of messed up because people were really rough with these. Ah, oh, shit, I'm not doing so great, but you know what? You know what's funny is someone was robbing that guy's house and I'm just like, yeah, cool, whatever. Just, just, just let me deliver my papers. I, I, I'm not worried about you. Turn a blind eye, right? 
Um, shoot, I missed that one too. All right, now we're getting to the obstacle course. I didn't really do very well here, but let's see, maybe I can get through the obstacle course without any drama here. I didn't get any targets, but I'm getting through the obstacle course. Oh, look at that, I got one. <laughs> see, I still got it. You know, you guys aren't gonna believe me, but this was the first time that I ran through this. Like, this isn't a take two, but let's see how many customers I, oh, whoa. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I lost four customers. <laughs> Hey, it's not bad. You guys have seen me play other games. It's usually pretty rough, so I'll take it. But the unique things about this controller is that obviously it's a replica of handlebars, but you have your buttons to throw the papers are right sort of underneath the handlebars. And um, I think the real trick to this is just being able to finesse, slow down and speed up. You know what I mean? Cause you don't want to go too fast cause you tend to lose control and you don't want to go too slow either. So I don't know of any other way to replicate this experience, but with the arcade cabinet. So I'm pretty excited to have it. And a game like this is going to definitely hold its value. And that's pretty cool. These Atari system two PCBs are really complex. They're a pain in the ass to work with. And uh, yeah, just go watch John's arcades video on his Paperboy, and you'll see how painful it can be to troubleshoot an Atari System 2 game. But anyways, I wanted to show you the original handlebars real quick. This is the original handlebars. These are the ones uh, that I got rid of for the ones that Travis does. So these are gonna be for sale on Clove at some point. So if you're looking for a pair, you can get them there. But I'm glad I got a chance to share the Paperboy with you. I'm pretty stoked to have it. It's a pretty unique game, and I think it's gonna be one that stays in the collection for a while. All right guys, that about wraps up this video. I am so glad to be out of that garage. It is so hot right now in there, too damn hot. It's 110 here today during the day, so it's probably gotta be about 102 or three. It's probably about 130 in the garage right now, so it's really hot. I will say the frequency at which I'm acquiring arcade games is dramatically slowed down because right now my main focus is on pinball. And can you really blame me? It's something I can do inside the house and it's air conditioned in here and it is really, really hot out there. So I am good with all that for right now. And I know, I know I haven't done an arcade video in a really long time. I don't know what the future holds for arcade gaming for me. I can't imagine I'm gonna be acquiring a whole lot of new machines, but I'm gonna enjoy the ones that I have and continue to really go down this pinball journey that I've been on. But don't, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll do both. We're gonna do both, but you know, maybe the frequency and maybe the ratios are gonna be slightly different. But hey, it's all fun. It's all arcade gaming at the end of the day. Go check out this movie right here, Token Taverns. I'm actually in the movie. If you don't know that, it's a really cool movie. It focuses on the rise of the bar arcade scene. Really cool. If you like craft beers and you like pinball and arcade games, there's something in this movie for everyone. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below. I wanna hear from you. And one more thing, I actually have a podcast and it's focused on pinball, but you might be interested. You never know. It's actually really, really good for someone that's brand new getting into this hobby. So hopefully we can have some crossroads and I can get some of you crazy arcade gamers into pinball because it's really cool, it's really fun, and I promise you, you're gonna love it. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one.